This is Jeffrey Demmitt for Buzzline.com, and I am here at Bleed Fest with... Brink Stevens. Katrina Gorley. Liz Fees. Cindy Bear. Tara Cardinal. Lil Zane. Ann Norda. Brenda Fees. Lori McCormick. Vita Kafari. Christina Wickers. D.P. Kadegubati. Lori Bowen. Thanks for joining us at Bleed Fest. It's February, so it's Women in Horror Month. Woo! Check it all out. Check them all out. And Black History Month, sorry. <laughs> Jeez. This is Jeffrey Dammit for Buzzline.com here at Bleed Fest Film Festival. We're going to send this over to Alicia Rains. She's going to interview Brenda and Elizabeth Fees, the founders of the Bleed Fest Film Festival. And uh, we'll be back in just a little bit. Alicia, take it over. Okay. Hey, it's Alicia here with Buzzline, and I'm here with the Fees sisters, the founders and festival coordinators of Bleed Fest. And this is the fourth uh, festival, is that right? Yes, it is. It's our third monthly. Uh, we've just begun our monthly series, so we're hoping to keep co continuing every uh, first Sunday of the month. And the first festival, was that last June? It was actually last July. We started as a sister fest to Viscera, which is an amazing festival of horror shorts. And uh, we had such a strong reaction to it. We had so many people saying, you have to start doing this all the time, that we decided we should do it quarterly. And then my sister here, who's always overly ambitious, Miss A-type personality said, how about monthly? Why would we not do Bleed Fest monthly? Hey, Jeffrey Demmitt back here at Buzzline.com with Heidi Martinuzzi. Did I get that right? You got it right. I'm, I'm amazed. Uh, she does a yearly film festival. Let's find out what it's all about. I do a film festival called the Viscera Film Festival with someone named Shannon Lark, and we do it every year in Los Angeles, and it's all short horror films by women. And we try to do the best new short horror films we can find. And it's uh, going to be at the Silent Movie Theater on July 17th. It'll be our second year. And we have a lot of really great festival judges um, who are women who've you know had theatrical features out before, um, like we're having Kat Shea and um, Allison Anders are some of our judges. Any I particular guess? filmmakers you're most excited about for this year? Well, we have not announced our lineup yet because we're still taking submissions until February You could You could sneak a little out here for this if you want. Well, we are going to premiere a few really great trailers. I can talk about that. Like, um, you know, as we know, uh, our beloved actress Tura Satana died yesterday, with, tragically, all of a sudden. And we're going to be screening um, the trailer for the documentary that was currently being made about her, um, which I guess is going to end with her death. So we'll be screening that. It'll be the premiere of that documentary trailer. And how do people keep uh, tabs on this uh, fair and how to find you? Well, I like to use Facebook for all my social media needs. I believe you just added me yesterday. I did. And you can also go to VisceraFilmFestival.com or you can just Google me and I'll come up and some of it will be like embarrassing and some of it will be ways to contact me. And you can just get a hold of me that way and you can find out more about it. All right, hopefully some are embarrassing ways to contact you You'll too. find a lot of them, but Perfect. have fun. Don't take it too seriously and forgive me. All right, well, we will see you soon at the Silent Movie Theater and I will see you on Facebook beforehand. Thank you for interviewing me. <laughs> Thank you for being interviewed by me. <laughs> <laughs> the first Sunday of the month is Bleed Fest. And this Sunday is February Women in Horror Month. So what, what did we have going on today? Uh, basically, for Women in Horror Month, uh, Bleed Fest was celebrating the female directors. The whole movement is about celebrating all the women in horror, the journalists, um, the actors, the producers, the writers, even the special effects women that often don't get recognized. But for Bleed Fest, for us, we focus on the female directors today. So we had wonderful awards going to uh, trailblazer Kat Shea, who's mm -hmm. been in the business for 25 years. Amazing. And, yeah. Amazing work. And Stacy Title, who's a famous director, is very acclaimed, who does wonderful political uh, horror movies as well as other things, and um, some awesome shorts in competition. Hey, we're back here for Buzzline.com with Kat Shea, who just won the Trailblazer Award. What got you here? I, I stalked Roger Corman, and I convinced him to let me make a movie. 
back in 1988, and it was called Strip to Kill, and it sort of started a genre of stripper movies. So that's and, and we all appreciate those. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm so glad to bring strippers into the mainstream. Um, or what's next? The, a teen thriller called The List, and um, it's working. Way into production. Right. Slowly, apparently. Well, congratulations yes. on the award, and well, I can't you. wait to see that when it gets. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And she's the goddess of war and art. Is that great? Perfect. Hey, we're back here for Buzzline.com with Stacy Title. How are you doing today? I'm excellent. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So you've got the award for the social commentary. Yes, I did. Uh, what was that based on? What what, what projects I are they? Uh, probably most... Last Supper, which is, which is the first movie I did, uh, is about a bunch of grad students who invite people over for dinner, and if they can't um, convince them otherwise of their politics, they poison them and bury them in the backyard. So that was a uh, one. And then The Hood of Horror with Snoop Dogg was a was a try you know was a trilogy, and all three of those stories had social commentary in them, um, a lot of stuff about status, about class, about culture, uh, stuff I'm interested in. Were you able to start there or did you have to do some projects before? I made a short. I used my own money, I did my own thing and I made a short and that got an Oscar nomination and oh, then wow. kind of launched me. So that was really lucky. And I have a new movie that's a, a, a bigger budget movie that I'm not directing but it's called The Colony and it's, um, it's also got social commentary in it and it's, uh, it's about uh, bugs sort of getting their revenge on people. Well, it's about time. It's about time they came back. One interesting award is the Partnership Award. So tell me about that. Well, we honor a very special man every single month. Uh, somebody that's helping get the female either promoted, they, they have a great depiction of a female character. This month we have a, a, a short from Australia, actually, by Cam McCulloch, called Home, that we thought had a really strong female protagonist, and so we honored him this month. And you had another film from Australia, the feature that you played tonight, today. That's actually a U.S. premiere. We're really excited about it. It's called Slaughtered, and it's by Kate Glover, who wrote and directed it when she was 22. Um, she was working in a pub at the time, and she had that punk rock do-it-yourself attitude and got the pub people to let her film at night, and a lot of them were in it and crewed up. and. Um, Good for her. It's it's our U.S. premiere of it. We're really excited. Hey, Buzzline.com. Jeffrey Dammit here once again at Bleed Fest with Dave Rita. Dave, how you doing today? Great, great. And I'm kind of jealous, man. You, the, what's up with the beard, dude? Well, they told me you were coming, so I, I had to go to a professional beard stylist. Exactly. To not be outdone. What projects do you have in the future? Um, I've got a couple of film feature films coming out. One's called Fright House. One's called uh, Unholy Ground. They're rock and roll horror movies, man. They're they're real cool. And when are we going to get to see them? Um, well, they're in pre-production right now, so I can't really say, but very, very soon. Nice, hopefully. nice. And what was the award you got uh, last month? Uh, we won the Partnership Award here at Bleed Fest, which we can't thank them enough, for my film, Horror of Our Love, a short film. It's a music video based on the song by the band Ludo, and it's, 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 it's a really cute little horror movie. It's cool. Where'd you get your start? How'd this all uh, happen to you? Um, I started out as, as an actor and then came out here and created my own sketch comedy show, uh, with a bunch of actor friends of mine and then just realized I had to take it to another level. You know, you, 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 you when you're doing this kind of stuff, you either are pushing yourself or you wait around. And I didn't want to wait around anymore, so I just took the reins in my own hands, became a director, producer, pushed it all, and started making it happen. Well, there you go. Dave Reed is making it happen. So you kids, you follow his advice, you can have a beard like either one of us when you grow up. We'll see you guys a little later here at BuzzLine.com. Tell us a little bit more about Bijou. It's it's going to be like a whole network. Well, the Basically, we're soft starting with a streaming program in February, which I know isn't so exciting because there are a lot of upstarts right now that are doing streaming. But we have at least four films that are going to be theatrically theatrically released this spring throughout the Midwest. Which is huge. It's, it's huge. It's a for big... a woman to get there. And it's not necessarily women for that, for Bijou. But just a theatrical release anymore, it's a big deal. You know, it's hard to do if you're not in a studio. Actually, two of our Bleed Fest picks will be getting that, but we're not prepared to announce that yet. But yeah, so I mean, part of the advantage of me being the VP of programming and her being in, in the marketing, to, you know, VP, is is that you know that's obviously a strong uh, a belief system of the entire Bijou family is that we are supporting 
um, all voices, all different colors, all different cultures. You know, we'd like to do a Kenyan festival too. I mean, there's amazing work going on around the world that you're not hearing about in different countries um, now that the digital revolution has happened and it's affordable. Hey, BuzzLion.com, we're here with Nick Brown. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having us out today. Of course, of course. Uh, you've got your website. It's uh, bmovie... bmovieman.com. That's one of them. And the other one's werewolfforhire.com. And what's going on on those sites? Well, Bmovie Man focuses on independent cinema, like the Bleed Fest that we're here today for. It also focuses on genre films, especially horror and uh, sci-fi, that sort of thing. I run a uh, series called Women of Horror, and I've done about 60 interviews with women in the horror industry, including some of the guests here today. How'd you get your start in all this? You know, I uh, just went to a couple of horror conventions, and I, I'd always wanted to be a writer. And I said, you know what? I think I'm going to start writing. And so I did. <laughs> What's next on the horizon for you? Well, you know, I'm working on my second book. It's a series called uh, Werewolf for Hire. Uh, the first one's called Blood Curse, available on Amazon.com. Look it up. Uh, my second book is called Blood Sacrifice. Can you detect a theme there? And uh, I'm also working on a book about the history of werewolves in cinema. And then I'm also working on a new cable channel project called Bijou Studios, which is going to be a uh, cable channel dedicated to independent cinema and genre cinema, just like my website, Be Movie Man. So we're excited about that. And when's that going to be a hit in the cable? Uh, this okay. summer, possibly June, we'll, we should be... Uh, online or on the on TV <laughs> offline and on TV and you heard it here first at buzzline.com <laughs> <laughs>